light. There it is. There you go. Okay. I actually... Okay. Light is a game I've been... I actually have played before, but I've only played episode one. I never went past one. Uh, because I didn't have time. I don't remember too much from it, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna be, uh, I'm gonna be playing this. I'm gonna be playing episode one from, I'm gonna start episode one. Long ago, in small town, there lived a family of vampires. They were very kind souls and got along well with the humans there. But one dark night, one of the one of the kind vampires attacked a human in town. Before anyone knew it, they had already sucked out all of the human's blood. That they had attacked a human was soon revealed to the others, and the vampire was executed. And the townspeople lived happily ever after. Are vampires real? Are they bad guys? Vampires did exist, but not anymore. And if they're bad, I wouldn't know. In fact, I doubt even this vampire attacked their victim willingly. It's getting late. You should get to bed. Why can't we all sleep together? If you do, the wolf will come, so lock the door and fall asleep quick. Stay up too late, you won't be able to get to sleep at all. Okay, good night, father. So, how much more do we have to walk? Hey, Papa, are you listening? Are you right? Oh, wait, you are right. Shut up, runt. We're almost there. Just be quiet and walk. I'm not runt. I'm Effie. And stop calling me that. It's getting on my nerves. Aw, oh, you're mean, Papa. Come on, you're always calling yourself different names. Hey, give me a piggyback ride. Sure, piggyback ride. That'll be a hundred thousand G. Big dummy. See, we're here. And remember, call me Leo here. Eh? Reply. Okay. V. Vermilion. It says Vermilion Town. That's, that is literally. A, that, that's almost a Pokemon like name. Oh, I'm getting clever by the day. As long as you don't immediately forget it. I just oh okay so what are we doing now there's an informant here so we'll sell the info we got at the last town and this town seems to have quite a bit to gleam itself so we'll look into that and then go sell that info yeah also you shut your trap what Okay. Right. First, a place to stay. Let's try and find some people. Hmm? Huh? Why are you here? What's the matter to you? Why are you here? Just realizing my feathers. Oh wait, I just, yeah, just realizing. Convinced. Dumbass. Just resting my feathers. I'm tired. I'll be 
finishing for info. I'll be fishing for info tomorrow. Oh my god. All right. If you find anything about the town's legend, tell me, please. You better pay up for it. What do you take me for? <laughs> Shelves are messily packed with things. Nothing of real interest. There's something here. A serrated knife and small macaron. Not everybody want macarons. <laughs> That sounds so good. Nothing's inside. Sad. Useless. Inside. Lot of different books. Oh, um, because that one's done. Uh, oh, you look important. Hmm, Harry. Harry wore a green jacket before, had black hair. Ah, took me a bit to realize. Changed your whole appearance again, huh? Uh, that scar on your cheek never changes, does... Hmm... Hmm? Who's the kid? I'll explain that later. You know where the resin... Where the residents are? Oh, you need a place to stay? Talk to the guy at the... Largest... The largest... House in the Northeast. I think the people... Uh, I think the people there are only real residents. Should lend your place easy. I see. Thanks. I'll be back later. Bye now. You too, kid. Let's go before she makes us any more of a bother. Oh, a big lair and dragon aura. Ooh, that's not cool. Okay. Oh? Hello, my name is Leo. I'd like to ask you something. Oh yes, that's perfectly fine. Is there anywhere in town where we could stay? I've got food for us, so a place is all I need. Your travelers? Well, there is a place, yes. My sister and I are the only current residents of this town, you see. You can stay anywhere, but this house and the library at no cost. Oh, you can stay anywhere but this house and the library at no cost. Don't worry. Right. Thanks for your help. But a few people are renting out houses, so, uh... Ah, uh, I know. The house with the crates outside was just sorted, so it should be usable right away. Just, if you're staying a few days, don't go out late at night. What do you mean by that? Uh, what I mean is... There's a vicious wolf that goes around at night attacking people. Right. I see. Take care of yourself. Alright. If you need anything, I'll usually be here at home. Oh yes. Introductions. I'm Keith. Keith Rigfire. Glad to meet you. Keith, is it? Sorry to bother you. Thanks again. Oh, I'll be seeing you. A wolf? That's scary. So scary. 
And you're not a traveler, Papa. You're not Leo either, liar. I'm Leo here. Just Leo. Got it, runt? Yeah. Don't yell at me. Okay, got it, Leo. Good. We got a place to crash, so let's go in to the informant. Not that one. Not that one. You. So, lie. Little lie. There ain't shit. Amazing. Ow. Okay. Took out the lie. I think the informant is in the library, I believe. He's the informant, right? No, he's not. <sighs> oh my god, my Got a room? Yeah, now let's get to business. Right, right. I've been looking forward to this. Hmm. So the bluebird really does exist. Yeah, couldn't capture it, but good enough, right? And you brought a feather. That and the info is enough for me. Here's your reward. So, I heard you came upon a dragon egg. Is it true? Yeah, about that. Her. Huh? Hmm? She hatched from the egg. I still don't get it either. You serious? Really? For real? Ahem. Uh Eat. Watch it, mister. You gotta be nice to girls, okay? Oh, that's adorable. Like this. Yeah! So, what kind of dragon is she? Thunder? A Moeba? She eats lies. That's her diet. She can breathe fire, kinda. It'd be faster to show you. Hey, Runtling. That's Effie to you. But you see, Effie, me and him are brother and sister. No way. Yep, I lied. <laughs> Oh, and now what? She gets physical. Wait. I see, I see. That was faster to show me. Never heard of... And definitely never seen a dragon like this before. Huh? Really? So not even you. But that's about it for now. I'm exhausted from walking. Gotcha. If you want, I could sell her for a lot. The run's not for sale. I'll sell you info on her, maybe. Greedy and greedy. Why'd you pick this town? Wait, why did you pick this time to do business in anyway? It's so inconvenient to reach. And I don't think the value of the info is worth it. Had to. <laughs> well, if that vampire legend is true, it'd be worth my time. Yes? Vampires. Don't go chasing fairy tales. I'd sooner consider dragons the fairy tales myself. I'm told their bloodline ended a long time ago, but I'm sure I'm alright. 
Says who? Says my gut. Well, if anything comes up, I'll help with what I can. At a price, of course. Right. See ya. Love berries. Can you sell dragons? Eh? Well... They're rare. They got sturdy bodies, they could fetch a good price. Mainly as slaves. Slaves? Can't be bothered to explain. Look into it yourself if you want to know. I've got things to do, you can go off and play. Just don't leave the town or go anywhere else weird. And there's a snack for later. Okay, hooray! What, you wanna play? I do. Yeah, let's play. Alright then, let's do word chains. You start. R is for relay. Yammer. R is for roulette. Entertainer. Um. R is for. is for. ruler. Register. R R I don't know anymore. Then we're done here. See ya. You're no fun. It's gotten dark, hasn't it? The day is ending again. Hmm? Lost your energy? I'm hungry. Uh, I see. Okay, I'll give you cookies. Alright, but only if you win this game with me. Game? I've got a ball here. You just gotta guess which hand I've got it in. Got it. Here it goes. Oh. Oh, oh. Ah, which one? Behind. Eh? You got me! You're sneaky, lady. But better than the guy you're always with, right? Yeah. I see. I like that. Here's your prize. Let's play again sometime. Hmm? All alone now? If he is alone now. Oh. Oh. Well, you want to talk with me for a bit? Should I tell the story of the butterfly who's flapping across the tornado? Cause the tornado. Oh my god, I can't talk. Ah. Uh, only six more hours. Only six more hours. Or perhaps the story of the dreaming illness. For money, right? Then, no thanks. Six. Yep. Six more hours. Yeah, in six hours, I'm probably gonna finish all three episodes of Light Eat and still have time to spare. He taught you well, hmm? Alright, if you're bored, 
Would, would you call my partner here for me? He should be in the library. His name is Levin. Recognizable by being a cat. So strong. Yeah. I'm trying. Ugh. But I'm tired. I'm hungry. I'm honestly kind of thirsty because talking for 20 hours has been killing me. There he is. Uh, are you Mr. Levin? Yes, and? Uh, oh, I don't actually know her name. Uh, the lady with the crazy hair that goes tch a bunch, cold for you. Ah, you mean Rosalie. I see, thank you very much. Excuse me. That's that said all, I guess. Favor complete. Okay, what's next? Nope. Wait. Oh, okay, there we go. So do we go back to them? So then, hmm. Funny how old these are, how they're just empty. Ah, on your own now? The town doesn't have much in the way of places to play, so it, it must be boring for a child. If he's not a child, so I'm not bored. Is that right? Pardon me. Ugh. Oh my. Would you like something to eat? I like making sweets, so I could whip something up. Yay, I love sweets. Oh, they won't make me full though. Are you of a race that only eats something in specific? Yeah, hey mister. Tell a lie for me. A lie? Uh, I was cleaning until just now. After that I did some reading. And I finished making dinner a little while ago. What are these? Uh, now I punch them. Which one's the lie? Uh, which is it? I finished making dinner. Um, they're all lies, is what I'm saying. Ow. So, is this what you call eating a lie? Yeah, right. Hmm, I never knew of such a race. Our race has a special diet too, but lies? That's surprising. Does your family ever leave the town, mister? Ah, no. There are many roads impassable by vehicles. So it's inconvenient even getting here. Inconvenient? Yes. You're tired from your trip too, I suppose. Yeah. Hold on. And the town being empty is very worrying as well. 
I'm rather frail, and my sister is a younger and more frail girl still. Well, huh. I feel bad for you guys. Bad? Well, there's all these lands and towns all over the world. You haven't seen it uh, you haven't seen it all. But it, <clears throat> but it's all different and all great. The world's really huge. If you say so. But I'm satisfied with a small world with my dear sister. So, thank you very much for the com for the conversation. <laughs> I just realized there's some toys here. Candle. Wait, a book. It has a bookmark. Remove it. Be a bitch. Stuffed rabbit. This sister? Yes. I just want someone to talk with for a little bit. Okay. Uh, Rachel, right? Yeah, Rachel. I'm Effina. Call me Effie. Effie. Is that red man that who was with you, your brother? Nah, Leo's my papa. Your father? I don't have a father anymore. It's just my brother. Really? Yeah. When we were... Hmm. Um, yeah, when we were little, uh, he just collapsed one day. And the next day he was gone. Are you lonely without your dad? It's fine, my brother's here. He's really nice. Okay, but... Bye. One time he did not strangle me. He looked really... Wait, one time he did strangle me. He looked really sad. Leo uh, yells at me, sure. But he's never strangled me. Oh, I see. Maybe we're different then. We're a different race from townspeople. That's why everyone went away. Hmm? But I don't get it. Wait, I don't get it, but if you don't like something, you should just say no. Or else somebody will... Or else nobody will know. No. 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 Once more. No. You got it. Eh. <laughs> Thanks, it was really fun talking with you. Yeah, I had a... Yeah, you talked a bunch, Rachel. We should play outside sometimes, too. Let's play again later. No. <laughs> I lied. Yeah, let's play. Ooh, I lie. No. I wonder if I should eat this. Ow. Oh shit, I missed. Oh no. I'm gonna die. No, I missed. Ow. I lived with one HP. There it is. 
had fun? Yeah. Alright, not the usual. Tell me everything that happened and what you heard from people. Okay. That's it? Yep, the end for now. I see. That lends cred credence to the, to the theory of them being descendants of vampires. But a race that thrives on people's blood. They eat blood, drink, suck. They attack people and suck out every last drop. They die. Yes, yes they do. These days, vampire bloodlines have weakened such that they don't drink blood anymore. But it's also possible that nature, nature of theirs is just lying dormant. In any case, the info, the info's too shaky to say anything yet. Yawn. Sleepy. I'm going to bed. You should too refrain. You should. You should too refrain from doing anything weird. Hey, Leo. Don't grab my sleeves. It's because they're long. Why do you think I eat lies anyway? If I knew that, you'd have a mountain of sweets in front of you by now. Really? Well, why am I the only one who can eat lies and other people can't? Sleepy. Yeah, well, no, no. But it's a fantastic power, like nobody else's. See, Effie, even if you mean to tell lies, they end up haunting you. Unless they become out of the guilt and regret. All commit. All commit. Uh. Like. All lies that come out of guilt and regret. And all. They get bigger. Oh my god, I can't read anymore. <clears throat> then it gets too much to handle, and lies completely overtake you, and then darkness. But, if you eat people's lies before that happens, you can keep them from that fate. Eyes refusing to work, mouth to brain gone. Like, my eyes, my mouth, and my brain all just went, uh, went, to, went on vacation in advance. Uh, I should make another coffee. <laughs> A uh, rip, yeah. Um, so I think it's a wonderful power. I see. <laughs> so I'm pretty amazing. Oh yeah, so very amazing. So when you lie, Leo, monsters don't appear like with other people. Listen, Effie, everything I say is 100% truth. Even if I were lying, if I say lies never found out, it's not really a lie. Okay, bad. Huh? But night's only just started. Go to bed. Okay. But I'm not sleepy. Let's go have fun. Oh. Wait. He's asleep. Might as well. He's asleep. Damn, he's a heavy sleeper. Alright, rest. Okay, never mind.
Let me go make coffee. I'm, I'll be right back. Let's just... I'm just gonna go make coffee. Uh, can't fucking do this. I'm back. Alright. 
Let's uh, let's try this again. Well, not try this again. Let's, let's, you know what I meant. Okay. Shit, where do I go? Um. Oops. Asleep. A broom. Starting to wake up. I think they used the wrong image for that one, but sure. Hmm? Hey, Epi. Where's white hair? Asleep. Well, oh, that's early. Hey, Epi, do you still remember when you were born? Yeah, um... I thought things were bright. And then I saw, uh, Leo. And his eyes got all wide. And then I got a bath towel. I see, I see. Well... Do you know... Why you eat lies? Hmm, I don't know that. Hmm. Nice, very interesting. He's quite the liar, so you're never short of food, huh? Um, when someone lies, I can smell it. I can smell it out. But I can't eat until I know for sure it's a lie. If I eat a truth, it tastes gross. But Leo doesn't smell of lies, and I can't tell what... What's truth or a lie? It sucks. And he even keeps his truth to a minimum. Hmm. Real enigma he is. So you can't eat clever lies. And if someone knows that it's a lie... Or if... Wait, so you can't eat clever lies, and if someone knows it's a lie, or if the li- or if the liar themselves... Yeah, I'm real mysterious too. Yeah, about the- wait, what? I- I- I don't- I don't know, I- I- Coffee, coffee, coffee. Alright. I'm Roman CS2. Hey, about those heart fruits, what are those? Oh, you mean these love berries? Uh, they're yellow ones. The yellow ones are sweet, but the red, red ones are a little sour. Also, they're pretty soft. They go splat if you throw them at people. Gets them all sticky. Myself, I throw them into the eyes of my foes to daze them. Aren't they food? Ah, so many mysteries. I've been developing a real interest in you, Effie. Easy, I won't do anything. Alright, there's still a little something I need to check. And look at the time. You should get back to... Didn't that guy tell you not to go out at night? What, the wolf thing? Can't be a real- Can't be that scary. I beat up bears before. Bears? But you're just a litling yet- Wait. But you're just a litling yet, Effie? Wait, what? Is that a word? I, I, I'll, I'll pretend like that's a word. Go and get some rest. I'm strong too. Rawr. Yawn. Ha, <laughs> see? Good night. Head straight home now. See you tomorrow. Okay, bye bye.
It got dark, huh? I should go straight back. Man, I got a bad feeling. But if I don't go... <laughs> Yawn, yeah. <laughs> the sound I've been making this whole time, just yawn. <laughs> Oops, wrong one. Your bed's on the other side, idiot. <laughs> I wonder if I should just go to bed. Yeah. Let's do that. Uh, hey, that screamed just now. Hmm. Let's check it out. Stay right behind me. Don't wander off. Where is it? Right here. There we go. <laughs> That's where. No good. She's gone. Really? It's true. Hey, she's wounded. On the neck. Yeah, you're right. Hmm. Looks like bite marks. Well, what to do here? I'll have to tell the winged informant, I suppose. What are we gonna do? We'll give them a call. As much as I hate to see them. It's their job to deal with this kind of thing after all. Dead. <laughs> Eat the body. <laughs> She's not alive though. I don't know. Maybe she tastes sweet. Doubt it, which probably tastes of like blackberries. Yeah, too late for those. Wait, so you just go home now? No, never mind, they don't. I'm guessing we have to go to the. Oh. Nope, never mind. Shit, what was was this? Uh, 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 yeah. <laughs> I like how the library is open, like in the middle of the night. <laughs> okay. So I see. Another one. Something happened? Someone died. Horny murder. Huh? I completely forgot about this. I did not remember death in this game. Yet again, I remembered absolutely nothing from this game, so... It was the informant in the hat. Let me your phone so I can call you know who. <sighs> I'll make the call. They'll be free tomorrow morning at the earliest. Go to your place, lock the door, and stay inside. Glad you understand. Won't be asking for any money later, right? They're so rude. I just don't want to lend you anything important to my work. I wouldn't stand for it if you sneakily made off of the personal info on this phone. 
You trust me that little? What are we gonna do about her? She's gonna have to leave her until they arrive. Yes. She was indeed murdered. You wouldn't want to make any missteps on the crime scene, yes? You're leaving her like that? Can't do much else. We're no experts. Experts. Still, though, it's hard to believe she was done... It's hard to believe she was done in. Uh, wasn't sure I was strong. Uh, a few minutes. Well, I hope you're staying hydrated. Has it been so far? I'm not holding out. Yo, Jeep, how you doing? Long time no see. Uh, so, uh, how am I doing? Well, uh, it's uh, funny you ask. Um, so, uh, part two, like the part that was supposed to finish, like the 24 hours. Yeah, that one crashed. So I boosted this, like, I made a part three and I boosted it to 26 hours. So now instead of, of instead of finishing at 12 a.m., I finish at 2 a.m. And I got a flight tomorrow morning. So yeah, that's, that's fun. Um, uh, and uh, I, I have been staying hydrated. I've been drinking uh, a, a lot of coffee. A, a lot, a lot of coffee. I got I got coffee right now actually. Uh, wasn't sure I was strong. She could also go down quick if somebody got behind her. Oh, would she? Is that what happened when you first met? Still not enough info. Wait. No, never mind. Damn, you're a trooper. Even in my stream, bro, I couldn't last 24 hours and you're going 26. I mean, it's it's only fair, you know. I can't just have the stream crash and just call it off early, you know. It's like, you know, I, 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 there needs to be a there needs to be a price to pay. Ugh. So not enough info. We'll gather more tomorrow. The you you can tell from the way I'm reading that uh, I'm 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 very clearly like my brain is just not it it's just not functioning. Like the gears have like something stuck inside of them. Like just right in between them. Just they're not, they're not working as intended. Oh, and just at a glance, it looked like there were bite marks on the neck. So you think this town's... Wait. Yeah, like, th th there's an example. <laughs> so you think this town's vampire story... Still think it's up in the air whether that's true. Hmm, how puzzling. Let's think it over tomorrow. Right, see ya. Take care. Can you get to sleep? I don't know. If you really can't fall asleep, you can get in my bed. <laughs> as if... As if you're actually that dejected. Night. Good night. I also need to... I also need to fin... To... Fix OBS. Oh, wait, there we go. I fixed it. Never mind. I was about to say, I also need to fix OBS chat, and then, like, all I needed to do was drag it. Good job, me, for being a dumbass. <sighs> that inform. Oh my god. That informant with the hat just stopped moving. And had only just been talking with her. Can I sleep tonight? I might not. Ow! Finally, we're going out. Get yourself ready. I'm sleepy. I've got more... I've got more where that came from. I'm up. Morning. <laughs> Good. Let's go.
Long time no see. Yeah, to be expected though. You're always around when these things happen. A child? Hey, let me make this clear. She's not a kid. Wait, she's not my kid. Captain, I'm all done with... Yo. You again? I don't suppose you're the culprit in this case. And that child there, isn't she a dragon? First fraud, now kidnapping? Where does it end with you? Dragon? She hatched from an egg. The egg just suddenly appeared under my bed. And hey, just try and prove that fraud incident. You're not calling me a crook without evidence, are you? Calm down a bit, Brett. But, as you wish. Hmm, indeed. She does seem to be a dragon. Fellow dragons know each other just like that, huh? He's a dragon? Right, forgive me. Hello there, miss. I am Neil Macefield, captain of the police. This is Vice Captain Brett. And he and I are both dragons, same as you. I've never met any other dragons before. <laughs> I'm Athena. Call me Effie. Hmm. We still have business to attend to, so excuse us for now. We intend to stay until the culprit is caught. Come to us for anything. Captain! Unless I indicate otherwise, it is our duty to protect these two. Alright, thanks. So long then. So... Those guys are dragons too? First time you've met him, huh? Well, I have been avoiding them as much as I can. When it comes to dragons, they know their stuff. I see. Time for me to gather info. You can go play, I guess. Okay. You know the drill. Don't wander off too far. I know. Alright. I'll see her first. What's this? Looks like most of, of the victim's blood was taken out. I got my eyeball. Yeah. Seems like the marks on the neck were from some sharp animal fangs or something. Oh, hello. <laughs> the leader's pretty lazy. He usually just orders people and I've never seen him fight. He's so mysterious. Well, that's dragons, I guess. Heard a wolf comes around here. It's hard to tell what animals are thinking. So they're hard to fight. It's not a... Uh, it's nice that the capitals can fly. That the captains can fly, but not the... Do I even have a brain anymore? It's just like... Hold on. It's just mush now. It's, it's nice that the captains can fly. But we're not dragons ourselves, so... It's not keeping up with them. Toho ho Heard a wolf. Oh wait, I, I already talked to her. Wise words. Nah, you're reading very well and 20 plus hours in. That's impressive. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, looks like most of- oh, wait, I already talked to you, fuck. Uh... Let's just- This way. Why 
wise words. Um, oh wait, I, I need to talk to you. This place is so empty, huh? I mean, it's not like I'm here for fun, but the captain and vice captain are doing most of everything, so... If it's not a major case, maybe we can disperse within the day. It seems someone was attacked, even after my ins it, uh, even after my insisting they refrain from going at night. Wait, so we actually lost over here. Um, can you? Oh, okay, never mind. Wise words. Um. Alright, I'm guessing I have to go to Water Face. Wait. Fucking sword? A huge sword. I can't even see that. It's sad. The body grows large while the inside degener degenerates, yeah. No, no, I'm not speaking anyone just talking to myself morning mr swindler i'm leo here so any new info right i'll tell you what i gathered yesterday this was long ago a family of vampires lived in a certain town they were very gentle souls yet there came to be many cases of missing pe persons uh, then one day, those who had gone missing were found in the family's mansion, drained of their blood. Was this that town? No, this happened elsewhere. Afterwards, the family was executed for being horrifying vampires. Uh, but one from the family was able to quietly escape from the town, and they came here and married an ordinary human. With each generation, the vampire blood gradually weakened. But one day, decades later, another townsperson was attacked. What then? That's all I learned. I couldn't find any records of anything after that. The pages were ripped right out. Ah, right. This was written in a book. Diary, perhaps. By someone named... Seal rig fire. For real? Then it's the same as what I found. Uh, wait. <laughs> it's funny how, like, it makes. There, it's literally the same name. Like, it's almost the same name as, like, as the as the guy, like. What's his name? Nail, I think his name was. In short, the ones who would know the most should be those siblings. Right, I'll go check with them. <clears throat> yeah, what? My payment? I already knew all that. What? You should have told me that first. Here. What's this now? A tea cookie. I could have told I could have told you that. I'm asking you why you're showing me this. Oh, does an informant like you really not know about these cookies? Huh? Well, uh... Can't believe there be anyone who doesn't. I know, of course. I, I know... Wait, I... Fuck. I know, of course I know about these cookies. From Milk Tea Town? Yes! Only one baked every two months. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know all about these cookies, don't you? Believe me, yes. Then you must know the value of them, right? I'll take it as payment. That you will. 
counting on you. They find new info. Yes, thank you. Get scammed. Punch. If that vampire legend is true, the siblings munch are the most suspicious of all but directly asking them it's unlikely that you'll munch find out the truth eats it immediately <laughs> these cookies are pretty tasty <laughs> yeah i think your mistress should be re-educated starting with the basics i must admit on numerous occasions that the mistress is a bit slow on the uptake but as much as I do get to see some amusing things as long as I get my due pay I have no real qualms not a bad attitude uh time for me to tap out good luck with the rest of your streams a safe flight afterwards have a good day, day, right? Or night? One of the two. Have, have a good, f whatever the fuck time it is. Uh, for you, Jeep. Uh, Alright, yeah. Fuck. Uh, only, only five hours left. We're fine. We're, we're fine. We got this. We got this, alright? It seems someone was... Even after insisting they were free from the... Uh, I'd like to ask you some things about that. Oh? And who are you two? I said I was a traveler, but the truth is... So this makes you a detective? Yeah. Sorry, I had to hide it. Alright, I'll do whatever I can to assist. Thank you. Now then, what were you doing last night? I was reading a book, and then nodded off. After that, I was woken by a person's scream. Then, I locked the front door. Since it would be dangerous if the wolf came inside. I see. Now then, are you familiar with the, va with the vampire legend in this town? Well, not so much. I did hear from my father that there was such a legend. But it was long ago, and that family has long since perished, yes? Is that right? Thank you for your time. No, it was nothing. Goodbye. This guy's a terrible liar. But for now, fine. Next. Wait. For now, fine. Next, his sister. Not that one. This one. Hello, mind if we talk for a- no. No. I see. Uh, yeah, alright. Yeah. Just- Alright. <laughs> well, uh, if any of you want- ever want to commit murder, and, uh, and the detective wants to interrogate you, just say no. Just like, hey, can I interrogate you? No. No. No, just no. Just no. Kids are tough to deal with. Incidentally, the design for the detective badge got changed last year, didn't it? They changed it a lot. Wish I knew how to make those replicas myself. Guess I'll go ask him some things as well. Uh, I guess I'll go. <laughs> I guess I'll go ask him some things too. And I just got a message because of course I did. And oh fuck, wait. Because of course my one just has to like fucking message me at the worst possible times like she always does
Uh, do you want to ask? I don't remember. Oh, what do you want? Found anything out? You've been here investigating, I hope. Yeah. As you saw for yourself, the victim, Carol Deletta, De was stabbed with a knife. There were multiple stab wounds, but not much bleeding. It seems not much blood at all, in fact. So then, what's the sticky stuff on the wall? Oh, it looks like blood, but it's some kind of juice. It tastes a little sour. I guess probably Loveberry. You licked it? That was the fastest way. Captain, might I, rec might I recommend not licking everything you see? Even if it were poison, I would. Oh, forget it. What about the wolf? Wolf? Huh. Wolf, huh? I still haven't looked too hard. But we can't find it. In fact, I don't sense any animals around here at all. Bugs, maybe, but that's it. I see. Thanks. I'll make a note of that. Red. Hello. Nice to meet you. Um, no. Uh, maybe I should fish around for a little more info. I bet Effie will will bring in something herself. Hmm, will she? Found another. More people, more lies. Wait, more people, more lies. Weird. And I got more cookies. Let's beat this one up. Tasty. Not very big though. Hmm, what now? Maybe read some books. Yeah, okay. I do gotta practice my reading. But first, I'm doing my job. <laughs> uh. I swear to god, if she keeps messaging me, I will fucking scream in her ear when I get there. Nom nom. Um, let me actually... This one. I've fully investigated the area. <laughs> I- oh my fucking god, what do you want? Nom nom. Okay, um... Alright, let's sleep. So we regain health. Uh... And you die. There's not enough to go around. Yes, nom nom. Very delicious lies. Nutritious too. Hmm. This is like salt. I beat up three guys yesterday. <laughs> I was trying to act cool. Nom nom. 
Alright. I don't think I'm supposed to... Alright, cool. Um... Alright. Let's... Just eat and sleep. All day. Every day. We're basically Garfield at this point. <laughs> I think I've eaten every lie. I might as well. Which, now that I think about it. There we go. Never mind. <laughs> I wish that were me. Yeah. Wait, I just... I just not realized. There's a... There you go. Just save. Just, just in case. Never know. <laughs> oh. It's dangerous here. I'd recommend you find somewhere else to play. Red. Hello. Um, nice to meet you. Um... Happy to be here. Um, this is so empty. Oh, okay. They say the same thing. Oh, right. Library. I forgot. A whole lot of different books. Or, uh, less. Va, um, va, va, vampire. That's not it. Vampire. Va, va, vampire. I give up. Can't read it at all. Huh? A photo. Seems kind of old. It's a man, a boy, and a girl. Something's on the back. Yeah, can't read it though. Is it okay if I take this? Probably said, says that when you get your hands on something, it's yours. So I'm taking it. <laughs> I'm bored of books. Let's go somewhere else. Where else exactly? On the stroll? Yep. I see. Don't wander off too far, please. Effie. You who? Are gonna play outside? Outside? Well, I can't leave my room. Because my brother tells me not to. Oh. Well, let's talk then. Okay. So you've never left this room? Well, it's only when outsiders are in, are here in town. But even when there aren't any, I can only go on walks at night. Why? I don't know. But my brother goes out a lot at night. When I woke up last night, I saw him go out. Why? I don't know. Hey, what's that photo? Oh, this? It was stuck in the cover of a book in the library. That's me and my brother. Oh. Hmm, it's kind of faded. But now that you mention it, it does look like you, Rachel. Can you read what it says on the back? Yeah. It's my name and my brother. It's my name and my brother's. The one, the other one is... Our father, maybe? It says jail. So she can read. Nice. My brother said there weren't even any photos left from back then, though. Is your brother a liar? Yeah, he never tells me anything. It's really fun to get to talk with you, Effie. 
Whenever anyone comes, my brother says not to talk. Leo tells me to shut up all the time, too. So we're buds. Yeah. That's right. I hear a lot of noisy talking. Of noisy talking outside today. Did something happen? Huh? You don't know? Someone, uh, died last night. I see. Again. I'm getting kind of sleepy. Are you talking to me again? Yeah, sure. Yeah, I'm sleepy. On a scroll? Yep, okay. So, I'm guessing we go home? No, we don't. Do we go to... I'm sleepy. I'm sleepy, so I got up and decided to stand in the middle of the room. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, just standing at like in front of a table for no reason. I mean, to be fair, I'm not one to talk. I've been, I, I've, I've, I've literally been streaming for 21 hours. I've just been sitting down. I mean, I slept for like 10 minutes, but like, that's besides the point. Oh, munch. What? You want some of these too? I do. Oh, but, well, hmm. Alright, but only if you tell me info of equivalent value. Info? Info, information, this is business, my dear. You must repay me for what I'm giving you. Hmm. What would be good? Let's see. Ah, how about him, the big one? Tell me his weakness. Weakness? Uh... He can't handle beer. He gets woozy right away. Oh. Also, he told me he doesn't really like spicy foods. I see. And he lies all the time. I know that. So, if I somehow summon him... ...and somehow make him have beer and something spicy... ...I can defeat him. That's true. You're a smart lady. Here's your cookie payment. Say thanks. Yay! Unequal standing with a little girl. She has much to learn. Oh, shit. Oh, this doesn't... Oh, yes, it does. Uh, hello, nice to meet you. Um, of course. <laughs> uh, also... Where the hell is Leo? Where'd he go? Oh shit, wait, what, what, hold on. Hey, what are you reading? What's it say? Hmm? You can't read yet? Nope, I'm trying, but not a word. I see. Shall I teach you some? Sure. Oh, she literally said sure. And let's see, hmm. This is town. I'm tempted. Town. Correct. And this is Loveberry. Correct. Alright. This is Vampire. All correct. Congrats. Hooray. Whenever you're curious about something, look it up right away. You're more likely to remember doing it yourself rather than being taught. Have this too, a price for your effort. Candy, thanks. So yeah, remember, whenever you don't know an answer to something, Google it. 
You're, you're, you're better off. Hmm? It's you. On your own now? Yep. I see. Has he done anything to you? Huh? Why do you ask? People and dragons working together is a very rare occurrence. Hmm? But how much do you know about dragons? I don't know. I mean, I don't really know anything about myself. I see. Then I'll tell you what I know. Horns and wings. Are you able to put these out freely? Well, I can, but it wears me out and they're really wonky shaped. So still, so still unstable. It doesn't particularly require anything but a simple application of force, but these are, these are symbols of being a dragon. Stop making that face like it's like, uh, stop making that face like it's really tasty. Eat, eat it all. I don't mind. Mmm. You cup guys have really good cake. Cup cake. Cup cake. There are many different kinds of dragons. I can't recall ever seeing two who were alike. And your I eat lies. I can taste flavor. Uh, but if it's not a lie, it doesn't fill me up. Why is that? Another unique kind of dragon, then. It seems that dragons are always born for a special reason. We're trying to find out what that is, or what that is ourselves, but we still don't know. Are there lots of dragons? Yeah, there are a few dozen in the custody of the police. Custardy? Hmm? Oh, right. We're protecting them. Protecting? As I've said before, it's very rare that dragons and humans live together. Our police force is a special one, which cooperates with people. But I don't trust- but I don't much trust humans. From what we know, there's a good chance of a- of dragon eggs appearing before humans. But then they're sold as attractions or as slaves, and many have been stolen. Slaves? Attractions? Being forced to work for others and not being treated well. Does that give you a picture? When I was born too, I was shut. I was locked in a cage for show. But the captain saved me, and after that, he let me on the force. We also work to rescue dragons like Brett. Who are being treated unjustly. Why do people do that to dragons? Hmm? Due to rarity? We're dragons, so we don't know exactly why. But it's rare to see a dragon to... It's rare to see a dragon like you who trusts people and works with them. Though I certainly don't consider him a person. That's just all... That... That's all worth... Ugh, oh, god damn it. Though I certainly don't consider him a person that's at all worth trusting. Okay. See, I, I still have some vocabulary skills. <laughs> Brett. Still, if you believe in him, in Teobaldo Leonhardt's we won't interfere. Can I just call him Leo? I don't want to say that name ever again. Um, but I would recommend being ready for anything when you work with a human. So try not to get bullied. Yes, but there's a difference of lifespan. Dragons are ordinary, ordinarily rather long lived. So it's very likely he would die before you. I've experienced this myself. So, if you should ever be left alone, you can 
come to us. <laughs> we'll then gladly protect you in his stead. Got it. I'm sorry if I've given you sad thoughts with that remark. Uh, but it is a long while off. Until then, you should cherish every day, minute and second with those you value. Okay, I'll cherish Papa. Hey, that long thing you said, Celebald Leon Pants, or something, is that Papa's real name? Leobaldo Leonhardt's. Don't tell me he didn't even tell you his real name. Leobaldo Leonhardt's. That's one pathetic name. Thanks. Right. Sorry to prattle on. You have our support. Papa, hmm? Does he make her call him father? Call him her father? So this is where you... So this is where you got to run. Leo! Had enough fun? Anything of note? Um, well, I did this and this and blah blah. Ah, I see. I'll make a note of this photo and the rest. Wonder if this will be enough. What are we doing? Talking to a certain liar. Let's go. Hey, Leo? What? Do you like me? Name three things I like. Uh, money, beer, and women. Correct. And I'm a woman. No, you're just a brat. So do you hate me? Yeah, I hate your guts. What? Idiot, if I hated you, I wouldn't be caretaking you all around with me, would I? Oh, you lied about hating me. So that means you like me. I like you too. Well, that was a lie too. Which is it? The opposite of lying. Wait. The opposite of lying about a not lie, which is the anti-opposite of a freaky untrue lie. The opposite of a not lie, uh... Let's go. Yawn. Oh, excuse me. It's getting dark already, so I'm feeling drowsy. I like to talk. S I I'd like to talk some. Is now alright? Oh, yes. Though my brain might be a bit slow. If you insist, detective. Detective. You're a scam. <laughs> Good. Now then, I'd like you to repeat what you told me earlier today. Also, if you could tell me what happened after you heard the scream. Ah, um... Last night, I was reading, and then I nodded off. I heard the scream, so, uh... I heard the scream, which woke me up, then I locked the front door. I never went outside at all. It would have been dangerous if the wolf got inside. You told some lies there. I'll explain after we take care of this. Hmm. He smells like lies, but I don't know. If you're not sure, check my notes and remember what you heard. Why do you never tell me the answer when you know it already, Leo? Because you'll never progress from idio I idiocy if I just tell you. Makes sense. I'll do my best. I just nodded off. Bye. Blech. Gross, this is a troop. Really? Oh shit. I never went out at all. That's a lie. 100%.
I just not at all? I guess that's a troop then. Oh, okay. Okay, so apparently troops don't, uh, they don't fight. The wolf is dangerous. I'm gonna say truth. Because technically, I mean, he is the wolf. In a way. I lock the front door. Lie. Wait, no, that's a true. No, wait, the, the door was locked, wasn't it? Because I checked. That might have been. Yeah, this is the truth. I forgot. Oops. So I guess the wolf is dangerous. Alright, lie. There we go. Last night, your sister saw you leaving the house, Keith. You told me that your sister was the quiet type who barely spoke. But she did talk to this girl here. I see. On top of that, it seems it was you who told her not to talk or to go, out or go outside. In addition, not a single animal could be found around the whole town. So there's really no wolf, is there? So then, why? Since it's dangerous outside, especially when strangers are in town. Haven't you seen someone attack yourself? Wait, haven't you seen someone attack yourself? I... I didn't... Want her to... I didn't want her to see that kind of thing. Nor to tell her about it. So about this vampire legend, you said you didn't know about it. But a book in the library had information about vampires. A diary, I suppose. The author seemed to be one Geo Rigfire. A relative of yours, surely. And this photo in addition to uh, Miss, Mr. Geo. There's... You and your sister, with your names written on the back as well. You also evidently told your sister there were no past records remaining. Yes, that is indeed my father's name. So the legend? It's real, certainly. We are descendants of the vampire family. And? Shouldn't you be leaving this town quickly? Huh? What do you mean by... Because it's a dark night tonight? Epi! Leo! He used... Those same things the informant girl had. Where'd he go? I saw him go outside. He was really fast. I couldn't catch him. No, that's fine. We have to follow. The cops should be fine, but feathers might be in danger. Huh? The lock's busted. Seems sturdy. Kinda feels like he's done this before, huh? Hey, lend me that. Huh? That's my collar. That juice stuff was making it hard to see. Man, this is all sticky. Jeez. When we get to the next town, I'll buy you a new one. Okay. If the captains can meet up with feathers, that gave me some relief, but wonder if there's any other exits. Uh. Oh, wait. Right. What's this? A key. There's also a key over there. 
stuffed rabbit. A broom. Okay, hold on, yeah. This is an exit, I'm pretty sure, but it needs a key. And I don't think this is a key. Because it won't let me pick it up. Nothing's inside. Wait, wait, wait. There's candy here. Definitely take it. Might as well. Nothing's inside. Oh, okay. Well. <sighs> A book. A book. A book. It has a bookmark. A book. A thick book. Yo. Thick. Lots of books. Lots of books of all sizes. Big books. Small books. It's off kilter. A thick book. Various kinds of books. Assorted little things. A couch that doesn't have a text to it for some reason. A broom. A book. It has a bookmark. What's he been reading? How to kill vampires. Did I have a stake in their heart, cut off their head? I think that's the book Keith was reading. What's the meaning of this? Maybe there'd be something in this room too. Big green plate. We're just gonna ignore the wine glass. Rachel. Mm. A candle. Seasoning and other things. Some sort of decoration. Slightly wet. Sparkly. I'm not gonna lie, that does not look like a rabbit. If I'm being honest. I mean, it's just me. So what is in this room? Did you kick the door open or something? Keith. Hmm. So where exactly is the other thing? Is it the other bookmark book? It was. Hmm, you didn't have a text box for it before. This is a book about vampires too. Vampires are weak to sound like. Is this true? Seems it hurts them a bit. Seems it hurts them a bunch. 
Well, hold on. When I first met him... What a liar. What a liar we got here. If my guess is right. Is his sister Rachel alright? Uh, well... He told her not to leave when strangers are around. So, she's never left her room. I think I should ask her something. Don't, you're gonna scare the heck out of her, of Rachel. Rachel, hey, I wanna talk. No good. She asleep? There might not be much time. Overflowing with lies. Can't keep them under control anymore. A flood of lies? When you're driven by life, by lies, things get annoying. If they're overflowing, I gotta make less of them. So I gotta eat them. Yeah. I'll fucking know. Oh my god, that damage. Blah, 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 blah. Oh wow. Just one shot it. Amazing. Yeah. Oh, never mind. Uh knife before your life. Oh. Leo no. Oh. Ow. Ow. Fucking die already. Can't. And you missed. All cleaned up? Hmm? What's this? A key for somewhere, I guess. And what rooms are locked? Hey, Leo. You won't die on me, will you? He kind of already did. Uh, what's this all of a sudden? If you did die, I'd... Listen, just shut up and follow behind me. As for the rest, I'll protect you. What was that sound? That one's a mess. Don't bother. Try to... Try and avoid it. Oh shit, wait. Fuck. Uh... I, uh... So I, I didn't avoid it. I might be fucked. You motherfucker. Made a mistake. <laughs> oh, 
Oh my god, we're all the way back here. Okay, well, time to speedrun. Um, what the fuck were we even doing? I don't know. I don't remember. Yawn. Okay, um, shit. That was a mistake and a half. Uh... Okay, I I'm glad at least that... I have made a mistake. Made a grave mistake. Thankfully the dialogue skips pretty fast, so I don't think it's gonna take too long. Okay. She's so tired she has to sit at the table. Okay, um... I think we have to go... yeah. First, let's heal because Alright. Yeah, we we pretty much caught up with where we were. So okay. Dangerous lie. Okay. Ow. Um... You can probably just hear me button mashing my keyboard. Uh... Oh. 
out there. Um, right, there we go. Nope, nope, no, 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 you don't. Not a second time, bitch. Uh, and actually... Pretty sure I've given up, but it's fine. Cool. Hmm... Not that. I went, um... It's unlocked. There we go. A mess. I can kind of see that. The page is torn out of that book. With each generation, the vampire blood in our family has awakened, but... There's a small chance of offspring being born with denser vampire blood. Control of their powers is unstable, and they may attack people without realizing. Existing with humans is a difficult prospect. Thus, since moving to this town, a rule has been established to do away with such children if... Wait. To do away with such children if one is born. Yes. Uh, two, two children were born to us, and one of them was born with a higher concentration of vampire blood. Their powers have not, uh, blah, 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 blah. their powers have not awakened, but it can't be long until then. But I couldn't lay a hand on a child of mine. My wife too perished upon birthing the second child. So I don't want to lose any more. Tomorrow I'll hold a discussion with the humans of the town. It's dark. It's a dark night tonight. So one of them has awakened as a vampire, but the other one's fine? Then only one of the siblings is a vampire. So one of them doesn't suck blood. On the other hand, one of them has to suck blood to live. And maybe they did, by attacking all of the prior townspeople and animals. Captain's orders, I'm here to save you. Huh? Where did you come from, mister? I'm a shadow dragon. It allows me to generally ignore physical obstacles. Hey, vice captain. Uh... Hey, Vice Captain, should be a girl in this mansion. Any idea about her? A girl? This is the last room I've checked, and all I've found is you two. Rachel's not here? Where's the captain? 
He evacuated the informant and her assistant. Then he went to patrol outside. It sounds dangerous. Hey, what were you two mumbling about? Get us outside quick. After that, I want you to go guard the informant. And what do your orders mean to me? Mr. Brett, please, just this once. You better catch him. We're out. Listen, it's not like I'm lending you a hand. I'll just go to the informant and check for the captain. Thanks, you're a real help. It's a whole mess of lies and truths. A b a bunch of bad hazy feelings. We gotta do something about this and quick. Oh shit, wait, no, no. Don't you talk don't you touch me you fuck. Oh my god. I don't know how I avoided it, but I did somehow. So it's like here. It's almost out of oil, but I can light it for a second. Captain! Is he dead? Did someone die again? Look, he's... No, I don't... Mr. Captain! This sensation. Looks like I died. Morning, Captain. Blood wasn't sucked. Hmm. They do say dragon blood doesn't taste very good, you know? They do- wait, they do say dragon blood doesn't taste very good. Good to know. Um, Mr. Captain, are you a ghost? Spirit? Zombie? I'm an immortal dragon. I'm undead. Immortal? You can't die. This guy. Wait, he can't die, this guy. Stab him, cook him, put him in stew. Can't die. But he just revived, so I doubt he can do much. Yeah, you're right. The one who attacked me was that girl. I was caught completely unaware. Then, well, as you see, out of that, she ran further down, then suddenly collapsed. Then another came. Leave the rest to us. But. We're the experts from here on out, you see? Let me rest here a bit. Anything happens, I'll be right there. He's just gonna sleep. They've got the knife in him. Let's go, Effie. <laughs> just right there. Good to see you again. So you didn't leave town after all. Well, don't say I didn't warn you. No complaints if I kill you and suck your blood. First question, are you a vampire? That's right, I'm a vampire. Did you attack a woman last night? Yes, that was me. Enough lies. Keep it to that, please. I first met you in the morning, with the sun still out. And I found the rest of the diary stowed in that room. Fuck, fuck. According to that, only one sibling, only one sibling inherited the vampire blood. Lies. Wait, lies? I'm not lying. It was me who attacked her last night and sucked her blood. You're gonna get swallowed up, kid. It was me who attacked the townspeople and my own father. I did all of it. Rachel didn't do anything.
Don't go answering questions I didn't even ask. You shouldn't lie so much if you're not used to it. Effie. No, it's too big. Too sad. I don't wanna. Then are you gonna wait for him to be swallowed up by lies? I don't want that either. It's what you have to do. And it's only... And it's only you... And, and only you can do it. Because I'm a liar too. Eat it all up or he won't tell these lies anymore. I'll do it. Show this. Uh, no, you, you're you're out of uh thingies. Fucking stop missing. save stop okay God fucking damn it. Stop guarding your little shit. And I missed one of them. Okay, uh, heal. Hmm. Stop. Got enough health now. Why is this music so damn sad? Holy shit. Of course you missed both of them. Okay, at least you got a crit in one of them. And of course you missed the next turn. Amazing. Keep going, Effie. You're doing great. Heal scum, you know? Just I have become the one thing I hate. Oh my fucking god. God fucking 
damn it. Stop missing, you dumb kid. This dumbest fucking kid. Yeah, we're, we're gonna be here for a while. I missed both of them. Oh my god. Effie, you dumb fuck. The damage I'm doing is so little. It ain't doing anything. Oh my god. Okay. I... Okay, no, not yet. Alright, I dropped them below the thousands. At least. I don't think I can make it before my before I run out of cookies. <laughs> oh no, I only have three cookies left. I don't think I can win this. Effie, please. Please, Effie. It's gonna be close, I think. to heal. Oh my god, 73 health. Please, you stupid kid. Oh my god, 1 HP. Don't miss. Oh my god, thank you. Oh, let me. I'll eat. I'll eat all of it for you. Don't take that out of context. Rachel? I see. Father kept it a secret all along. Hmm. Wow. I wonder if vampires can make do with animal blood. <laughs> because there's human blood in me too, of course. Rachel, did you attack someone last night? Last night, I was sleeping. Uh, I was sleeping, right? Is that right? Never mind then. I'm sure a wolf must have gotten into the town. You should be careful, Rachel. Brother? I'm sorry for... strangling you. I felt strange all of a sudden. All of the townspeople left. After that incident... All of the townspeople left after that incident, as if fleeing. We've hunted out all of the animals around town. My blood alone can't keep up. 
There's so little left. What should I do? People. Travelers. I nodded off at night. Rachel went outside. When I went out, I found Rachel asleep and a human's... How long did you know I've been lying? Mm. Around the time I lied about being a detective and questioned you. Plus, you have a habit of smiling when you lie. You should be wary of habits like that. <laughs> you know, I think I much prefer you acting natural like this. Eh, it wears me out. But, all the pieces were in plain sight. Did you... You're right. Maybe I wanted someone to stop me. I knew it was all for selfishness. Both my father and I opposed that rule. And couldn't lay a hand on Rachel. But when you look at this, I suppose there was a good reason for the rule. I'll have to redeem myself somehow. This town has become so empty. Come to think of it, you're rather bloodstained. I could lend you some clothes if you'd like. No, we want to be out of here before those guys wake up. I went to help them and I got punched and Mr. Captain fainted. What the hell? Don't scare me. And isn't that cookie thing Levin mentioned a little bull? What did he mean anyway? The world may never know. We should get going. Ugh, sleepy. We have to... We have to walk on all those roads again. If you don't like it, I'll leave you here. Um, I do like it. <laughs> Take care. Goodbye. Hey. Give me a piggyback ride. E so Rock, paper, scissors. If you win, then sure. Got it. There we go. Rock. Paper. Okay, that was the first episode. Thank you for uh, fucking making this game. Uh, hey, where are we going next? Mm, somewhere not too much of a walk would be nice. Somewhere with lots of fun and oh, somewhere with lots of fun and games, or just somewhere cool. Hey, Leo. When I get smarter, I'll eat your lice for you. Maybe you should focus on learning to read first. <laughs> what are you so happy about? And what this episode to be continued. All right, I forgot about this. Yeah. Leo, age 23, height 170 centimeters, skills, lying, likes, beer, money, women, dislikes, annoyances, a con artist, 
He tells lies like they've he tells lies like their breaths. He changes his appearance and name at each new town. Athena, age two months, appearance four years. Uh height ninety-six centimeters. Ability eating lies. Likes papa and sweets. Dislikes reading. A dragon girl who feeds on lies. Energetic and inquisitive. She's not particularly smart. Keith Rigfire, age 18. Height, 167 centimeters. Skills, cooking, cleaning. Likes family, dislikes horror movies. Plus, uh... A boy living in Vermilion Town. He lives in a humble life with his little sister Rachel. He has a bit of a longing for the outside world. Hello, Shin. How you doing? Rachel Rigfire, age 9, height 134 centimeters, skills running, likes family, stuffed animals, and talking, dislikes thunder and scary people. A girl living in Vermilion Town is a descendant of a family of vampires. At the time she, ha she has her ancestors' tendencies. At times she has her ancestors' tendencies. I pray, please, work. For once. And she loves to talk. I saw that you were streaming on Discord. Oh shit, really? Oh yeah, I, I didn't turn streamer mode off. Oh well. You know, streamer mode is enabled. Oh well. I, I mean, I've been streaming for 24 hours, so I mean... Yeah. <laughs> well, not 24 hours. I've, I've been streaming for 22 hours. We only got, uh, what time would I say I was going to finish it, uh, at 2 a.m. So we got four hours left, finally. Uh oh. Oh, it's... it's... I already did glasses. Uh... I'll be here until Alice starts. Oh, okay. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, and she loves to talk. Uh, when is Alice starting, actually? I didn't even check that. Um... Exactly two hours. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, Carol Deleda, age 26. Height, 161 centimeters. Skill, martial arts. Likes cute things and love berries. Dislikes gross bugs. A hat-wearing informant. Cute kids and love berries are her favorite things. Uh, if any sketchy fellows or bugs come along, she'll give them a whack. After you end, she start? No, I end in four hours. I'm ending at 2 a.m. Uh, Rosalie Rosemary, age 19. Height, 158 centimeters, skills, playing piano, likes, fun things, dislikes studying. Uh, what's for 300 subs special? I didn't even reach 300 subs. I, I lost it. Oh, no, never mind. I gained a sub. Oh. I lost two subs, gained two subs. I gained nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna do a FNAF stream too, maybe. Uh, I actually never played FNAF, so I could. Um, yeah, I, I could play FNAF. Um, never really got into it, but mm, yeah, yeah, I, I definitely could do that. Uh, 
Um, I don't know. I I, I need to think about. It. I I haven't. I haven't even. Yeah, I still haven't reached three hundred subs. I don't think I'm gonna be reaching it today. If I'm being completely honest. I'll be watching. Yeah. Yeah. Um. There. I don't think I'm gonna be reaching. Um. Three hundred subs. Cause I. That the funny thing is, right? That was probably one of the easiest goals to get in the stream, and I and somehow I managed to get the hardest one before that. Before that. Before that. I mean. Uh, yeah, my fucking life. Uh, uh, Rosalie Rosemary, age 19, height 158 centimeters, skills playing piano, likes fun things, just like studying. A woman informant with wings. Though the daughter of a well known aristocrat, she didn't want to carry on the name, so she fled home with Levin. You can do it. Believe in yourself. This is literally my last stream for like a while because I'm going to Italy after I'm done. I'm literally, I'm going to Italy technically in a few hours because I have a flight uh, early in the afternoon tomorrow and it's on like I'm going to be finishing at 2 a.m. Meaning that I'm not even going to sleep. Uh, Levin Bloom, age 28, height 122 centimeters, skills singing, likes work and money. Dislikes late people. Oh, he's gonna hate me then. A butler who accompanies Rosalie. He periodically reports to Rosalie's parents in secret about how she's doing, constantly getting pushed around. <laughs> Good luck in your fight. Oh, flight. I'm, I'm wearing glasses and I'm still blind. <laughs> Neil Macefield, age around 100, appearance around 30. Height, 198 centimeters. Ability and mortality, likes the world, people, and dragons, and dislikes evil. That's like the most generic, like, uh, Captain America kind of character I've ever seen. <laughs> uh... An immortal dragon, he serves as the captain of the police force. He's often talking, yeah, he's often taking his sweet time. Uh, yeah, like your name is that, but your hair is green. Wait, uh. What was the context for that? I, I, uh, what, what was the context? Uh, what was what did I say that what the blind thing? Oh no, there's an explanation for that. I I did I do have a clip for that. Um. Uh, what are you playing? Uh, well, I technically I just finished it. I'm just reading like the behind the scenes kind of. Um. Well, not behind the scenes. Like this is just kind of character information. Um. But this is a game called uh, Light. And this is, I'm actually, because I still have four hours, I am probably going to be playing episode two, because this has three episodes, uh, and I have all three of them. So I'm, so I'm probably going to be, uh, like, after I finish reading this, I'm probably going to be uh, playing episode two. And if we have time, which I probably will, um, I'm going to be playing episode three as well. Brett Graves, age around 17, appearance about the same. Huh. Height, 166 centimeters. Ability, phrasing through objects. Oh, phasing through objects, I'm stupid. Uh, likes dragons and reading, dislikes people. A young dragon of shadow, vice captain of the police force. Kind of dragons, but uh, detest people. Kind of dragon, but detest people. Uh, always on the ball when it's time to work. All right. I'm oh, sorry here. Uh, this is like music, I think.
and I think these are all like images like oh they're animations like that one <laughs> So looks like Pokemon. I mean, the. I mean the. Um, what's it called? Like the pixel art kind of does, but I can't say the same for the character designs. Like this is more reminiscent of Walk If I'm being completely honest. Yeah, and then there's like the images. Oh, this is okay. I'm going straight for the last one instead of the first one. Oh, that's adorable. Yeah, it's good. Uh, am I? Uh, am I the only alive at this time? Uh, seems like, yeah. Uh, I don't know who else is in chat. I think, I don't know, maybe Neo's the rest in chat. I just realized that her blood just spells dead. <laughs> what? She has like pink blood like Rompa, and it just spells dead. Yeah, we're just going through like all these images like one by one, just like kind of appreciating the art style here. Oh, wait, there's a bad end? There's a bad end? Since when? I didn't even- there's two bad ends? Oh my god. Eight subs left? No, seven subs left. Because there's 93. Or am I no wait? Yeah, seven. Ugh, I don't know. Again, probably not gonna reach it today. I mean I went twenty four hours, I gained I lost two subs, gained two subs. So I mean like I <laughs> Oh my god. Apparently there's two bad ends and I'm actually kinda tempted to go for them now. Oh god. How do I get to the bad ends? Do I have to lose to the... To, I, I don't feel like doing that though, that's the thing. Uh, it's into a title screen, yeah. Alright, that was episode 1. Yeah, I'm not getting to the bad ends. Fuck that.